Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be comparing the LG Stylo 6 against the Yuma Digi A7S. Now they both were released in September 2020. We have the Yuma Digi A7 on the right with the triple camera setup as well as the LG Stylo 6 on the left with the triple camera setup as well. So let's talk about the bodies of these phones. Now we do have plastic on the Yuma Digi. It's like a vinyl finish. Kind of feels like the back of a record. Um, now on the LG Stylo 6, it's more of a glossy, glassy material. Definitely feels pretty, pretty solid really nice as well. We have a more of a boxy squared off edge on the LG Stylo 6 with clicky buttons on the volume rockers here, Google Assistant button and power button right here. You get your um, noise cancellation mic. Uh, you, have, you, have a, do, you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as type C for charging on here as well and fingerprint sensor as well as um, a stylus on the, on the bottom as well. Now, on the Yuma Digi A7S, we do have facial recognition, no fingerprint sensor on here. Um, so let me just see if I could get that to work. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're So it's not at the now. best angle, I guess, but um, you do get the pattern on here for a secondary option. Password is the pin as well. And you can see right here on the Yuma Digi, we do have uh, dedicated button right there for the Google Assistant on the left. We can change that button to any other app as well. So I definitely think that's pretty cool. You do get your power button here, volume rockers on this side as well. Now the Umidigi A7S is 195 grams, which is a pretty decent weight. It feels good in the hand. And the LG Stylo 6 is actually 219 grams of weight. So it's actually a lot heavier than the Yuma Digi A7S when you hold them in the hand. So just keep that in mind. Now the LG Stylus Stylo 6 does come in the white color right here, but it does look like a rainbow glossy material. It kind of looks like all the colors in one, which is kind of cool. And then we have this black color on the A7S. It does also come in green and blue as well. Now, as far as the screen displays, we are getting a 6.53 inch on the Yuma Digi A7S. Uh, so that's kind of cool that we do get that. I'm not sure why the facial recognition isn't working right now. Let me see. I, I do have earphones in, so that shouldn't be a problem, but I'm still having issues with that. But you do get the facial recognition on this one. Let's just test that one out. So that's pretty weird. So we'll go with the fingerprint on this one. All right, so I'm gonna go into security right here and just add my face for facial unlock one more time. I think it, there's just an option right here. You could re-register your face right here. So you could, let's see, delete information, enroll face. Here we go. Look at this, it's showing the rear camera for that instead of the front camera. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. On the Stylo, uh, LG Stylo 6, we are getting a full HD display, it's 1080 times 2460, and on the Yuma Digi A7S, we are getting 720 times 1600. So we're getting a high density screen display on the LG Stylo 6, 395 pixels per inch. And on the Yuma Digi, we're getting 269 pixels per inch. So it's gonna be a little bit cleaner on the LG Stylo 6 as far as the way the screen looks. Definitely gonna be a lot better. Um, I definitely think you're gonna like the screen a little bit better on the LG Stylo 6. But the Yuma Digi A7S does have that Android 10 Go Edition. So it's actually gonna be able to run games nice and smooth as well. So I definitely like both phones when it comes to the displays. Now on the LG Stylo 6, we do have the Helio P35 processing chip. 
which is going to be pretty uh, decent for gaming. It's actually going to be good for medium graphics, medium gameplay. Uh, you could play, you know, Call of Duty. You can play Mario Go Kart as well. So I kind of like this game a lot on, on, on this phone. Definitely feels pretty smooth as well on here. So I didn't really complain about it. Um, you know, smooth gameplay, you're getting 3 gigabytes of RAM, but if you get the unlocked model on Amazon, you can get 4 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm going to leave a link down below, because that model is actually unlocked as well, so just keep that in mind, that you will, you do have the option to get the 4 gigabyte RAM model, which is also unlocked on Amazon for about $230 right now. So I'll leave a link down below, but you can see the gameplay is actually pretty smooth on here. After all the updates and bug fixes that they've done on this device, it's run really smooth overall. Okay, so I'm going to enroll my face right now. Alright, there we go. Let's test out the facial unlock. This is a dangerous group. Alright, so that works pretty cool. As far as the Umadigi A7S, we are getting the MediaTek MT6737, 1.3 clock speed, 4 Cortex processing chip. And you're going to notice on this one that we're basically going to get the Armali T720 MP2. And it's actually going to run pretty decent. It's going to be clocked in at 1.3 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage with independent SD card slot as well. So you can expand the storage on here. You can also, you know, game pretty well. I was able to play Call of Duty Mobile, things of that nature. Um, I was able to play PUBG. It ran really, really smooth no matter what I was playing. So honestly, I didn't have any issues. It's a low resolution display. So that's this just one thing to take note of, but um, honestly, you will be pretty surprised. Viewing angles are pretty decent. Uh, it's a 720 res low density display. So just keep that in mind, but um, I didn't really have any issues with the display here. So gaming is pretty decent on the Umadigi A7S as well. Now we do get NFC on the LG Stylo 6 and uh, that's pretty cool. The Stylo Pen as well. One thing I do like is that they do offer screen sharing on the Umadigi A7S which is something that's pretty cool as well. So you can also share your screen and um, you know like basically what you could do is share your screen so that it could go into the TV or like an external display or something of that nature, but you don't have that option on the LG Stylo 6 unless you buy like a, 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 you know, like a Chromecast or something like that. So it doesn't have mirror cast, but um, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi on both devices, Android 10 as well. Um, you can have all your apps as well. So let's go ahead and show you guys the camera setups on both these devices. So we do have a 13 megapixel camera on the left of the, I'm sorry, we do have a 13 megapixel camera on the, right here on the LG Stylo 6 on the left and on the Numa Digi. So they both have 13 megapixel cameras as the main camera, eight megapixel wide for the Numa Digi A7. So I think that's pretty cool. Five megapixel wide on the LG Stylo 6, two megapixel for um, the portraits on the um actually they the, the two megapixel for portraits on the lg and then a five megapixel for portraits on the new mobile now as far as the front facing camera goes on both of these devices we have a 13 megapixel on the lg stylo 6 and a 8 megapixel on the yuma digi as well now let's take a look at the geekbench scores that we're getting for both of these devices and just show you a comparison of how they perform next to each other when you're putting them next to each other but these don't actually um, translate to real life performance but just something to 
take note of that this has a quad a quad core right here and an octa core processing chip um, and you can see the speeds uh, the testing done here all right guys so I'm gonna clear out all the apps and just see which one will actually run quicker on Play Store one two three that was the LG Stylo 6 let's go back let's go to YouTube Let's see. Here it is. One, two, three. That was the LG Stylo 6. Let's go back and go into uh, Facebook. Okay, so you can see right there that was three to one on the LG Style 6. Let's try uh, Instagram. One, two, three. So, four to one on the LG Style 6. So, pretty cool there. You can see the loading speeds are really good on both devices, but a little bit quicker on the LG Style 6. Did that already so it's just you can set reminders on your devices as well but this is a quick um, comparison of both of these devices let me know which one you think is the better option this one's at $80 right now the LG Stylo 6 you can get for many different prices I'll leave the Amazon link for the unlock version down below as well but thank you guys for staying locked in with me I appreciate you guys for joining but in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are. Later, crew. I'll get right with you. Peace. Groups that we're dealing with now.